Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick flip through of two new decks that I got. I will be doing the Angel Tarot first, and this is the box. And this is what the back looks like and the side. The inside of it has got a beautiful golden, reminds me of a sigil. And then you got the companion book, which is very, it's like a matte finish. It's almost silk, you know, it's, it feels like, it's really laminated paper. So you get the black in the background and then you get a picture of the card and the meaning and also a psalm and a couple things about the guardian angel and then it goes into summoning and re releasing angelic spirits and it just goes through a meditation divination it's got a bunch of different information in here it talks about the sigil on the back and just, it, it looks like a really good book. I might actually have to read it. Usually I don't read my companion books. I go based on intuition. So that's what the back looks like again. And it comes in this and I put it in, you know, it's probably not the best way, but there is a golden string. That's what it looks like. And let's get to the cards. And I do have a cup of Earl Grey here. It's English breakfast, so, okay. So the cards are kind of, there we go. So this is the card, this is for Metron. And I'm just gonna show you the backs real quick. Again, they're really pretty. Then you have Gabriel. The lovers. Some of the depictions are a little bit more, I would say, darker for whatever reason. It kind of reminds me of a medieval time, just the way that they're depicted and the way the illustrator kind of made the deck. But there is a lot of black and white. There is a little red and, and once in a while you'll get a flash of gold. But I really like this. You know, there's some angels and some spirits that I'm not aware of. So that's something to really consider and work towards in my practice. So that I can get better acquainted. I mainly work with the seven archangels. The main two that I work with is the most is probably Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Those are the ones that I work with. Metron and Uriel and Zachiel have really been with me once in a while. Henuel will come by, but I feel like this is, you know, a whole new world for me in a way because this is just an interesting deck. It does have some, to me it has not only the metaphysical realm, but it also has, like I said, a lot of Renaissance or medieval times and a lot of occult feel to it. So I think it's a really good deck to kind of start out if you're someone that wants to work with the tarot but you don't agree with the, and don't resonate with the Rider weight, and you wanna work with angels. Feel like this would be a good deck but it makes you want to dive a little deeper I really like I really like how they laid these out it just really caught my eye the other deck that I really want to get um, that's an angel deck is 
trying to think what it is. It's called the Teen Angel. And I just really, I know that's kind of a weird name, but I just really thought they were beautiful. Um, so that's my next on my list to get for another deck for the angels. I'll flip these around. But yeah, I just really enjoyed, I really like them a lot more than I thought I would. I, I it kind of speaks to the Libra and me, you know, the balance of the light and the unknown the unseen, you know, because I do feel like there is energies that we don't know and that the archangels can teach us about. So I just really enjoyed getting this deck. The other one is really great too that I will be showing, but this one was, that was the one that I was kind of taken aback. This card right here, just the depiction of it. But again, I feel like I have there's something that I need to work on with that. So I always feel like when you are working with tarot, there's always kind of a, like a problem card where you don't wanna face it or you don't like it and you're not sure why. And once you start working with it and you start listening to your intuition, do meditations with it, you'll find that there's a deep message that you have been overlooking or you're not wanting to consider because for whatever reason. So I really feel like I'll be doing that with these. Definitely feel it's just not all uh, love and light. I do feel like there is some integration that could be done here with these cards and I really like that part of it. So it definitely can be worked on a shadow basis. I think they're really, I like how some of the, some of them have pops of red, you know, when just when you think you're getting all black and white, they'll throw in a piece of red in there in the depictions. And I like that it has, you know, it has the traditional names for the tarot, then it has the angel, then it has a little blurb of what it means. And then there's keywords down here, which I thought was really cool. And it looks like there's different uh, sigil styles and uh, different, it almost reminds me of the directions, but it's not quite that. But I feel like there's a lot of breaking down with these. But that is the deck, you know, it's, I really liked it. I'm going to be working with my clients with these and, you know, see what's go what happens. But I really enjoyed getting them. And like I said, the shuffling, it's still new. So, you know, it's a little bit rough, but I mean, I like the deck consistency. It's, you know, not too flimsy, but it's not really too, too, uh, what's the word? Rough, you know, you could still bend them if you wanna shuffle them, but again, I feel like it's a sturdy deck and I feel like it will get its use out of, like a lot for me. But I hope you enjoyed this flip through with me. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. If you want the link, it is on Amazon. I think I paid 15 to 19 dollars for it i might be mistaken that might be the other one but i think it's worth the money and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you soon many blessings